Hello, I'm Jessica. Thank you so much for joining me for this workout. Today we will be doing seated upper body strength and endurance. We are going to be using a mix of Pilates inspired exercises to increase endurance and tone in our upper body muscles without adding weight and stress to the joints. This is a low impact workout. I also have a set of one pound dumbbells, a light resistance band or no equipment at all. We'll also work just fine. Go ahead and double check that you are subscribed to the channel. If you haven't yet, click that button for free before you head out today. It just makes sure that you never miss a workout as we put them up. All right, go ahead, get set up and we're going to get started right now. Great job here. We're gonna ease on into a quick warm up before we get into our exercises. Plant those feet here on the floor. Hold that belly button in, pull it towards the back of your chair, towards your spine and lightly squeeze those ab muscles here. I want to make sure that you keep good form throughout this entire workout today. Keep holding and squeezing those ab muscles. Keeping good form is gonna keep your low back safe as well as make sure that the exercises are actually working on the muscles that we are targeting. Engaging those abs through this whole workout will also build up nice core stability and strength. So win, win, win for core today. Release it on down. Take some wrist circles here. Pull those abs up and in and relax them nice and easy. Up and in to engage and relax. Up and in one more time, relax. Reverse those wrist circles. Again, engage through those core muscles. Release, you can see that as I'm doing this, I'm not holding my breath. There's not a lot of movement happening through the center of my body. I'm just pulling those abs up and in and releasing them. Step those feet a little bit wider. Hands come to the thighs. Pull the shoulders back as you stretch the chest, not forward. I don't want you bending through the low back, but lifting up nice and tall. And then exhale, tuck those abs, reach those shoulders forward, stretch open the back. Inhale, stretch the chest, exhale. Inhale here and exhale. Great job. Cross those arms to the front and to the back. As big as you would like, you can cross those arms all the way over, giving yourself a hug, or you can just keep it right here, reaching to the front. I want you stretching those chest muscles, shoulders warming up through the elbows as well. Great job here. Holding the core nice and tight. Don't worry, I will be reminding you several times over through the workout. Wonderful job. Give me those hands here to the front. Thumbs up and then I just want you to point them down towards the floor. Little bit of wrist movement here. Once you get the movement down, take both of them at once. You can close the thumb more about this movement in the wrist. Take them to the sides and then both into the center and out. We're going to be holding the dumbbells for the majority of the workout so you are going to be feeling a little bit of work here in your forearms and in your gripping muscles. If you need to take a break you can just lower those weights and make it a body weight move and come back to the weights when you're ready. All right, so let's go ahead here, stretch and wiggle those fingers one last second. Underneath the chair, grab your weights. Our first exercise here, we're gonna turn those palms forward, roll the fingers up towards the wrist, maintaining a really long spine here. We're gonna practice engaging those core muscles with a little bit of movement here as well while we strengthen those hand wrist and forearm muscles. Very good, we have a good set of exercises here today. We're only gonna do them each one time, so you will not be repeating an exercise. We're gonna keep our repetitions high so that we develop strength while we work on muscle endurance. In addition to that, I have also 
grouped our muscles of focus together. So you'll notice biceps tend to all be grouped together. Triceps are grouped together. Shoulders are also grouped together. So really building up a lot of strength here today. You do have the option if you are extra motivated, you can repeat this workout a second round for today and get just that little extra bit of work. Wonderful job. Plant those feet, hold those abs in, bicep curl here, squeeze those elbows in, lift those hands, lower, slow, great chance to develop lifting and lowering strength here. Don't rush through it. I wanna make sure that you're not swinging those arms. It's right here. Once you've got a good feel, you can speed it up a little bit, engage those core muscles. Great time to remind you guys too that anything today that doesn't feel good in your body, you can go ahead and modify that exercise or you can substitute in something completely different, something that works better and feels better in your body. So leave room for there to be differences in how these exercises look compared to how you're doing them, to how I'm doing them, compared to how you did them in your last upper body workout. Really be open to listening to your body today. I want you working on your health and fitness, but more importantly, I want you to stay safe. Great job here, still holding those abs in. Bicep curl, this is a bigger movement. Our next movement for the biceps is going to be just a little bit smaller, a little more work here. So you don't want to uh, put everything you have into this one just yet. We still have a little ways to go for those biceps. Bring those arms up, widen out those hands just a little bit because we are coming towards the face. Curl in, really slow. As you curl in, you come with control. You don't need to come all the way towards the head just about 90 degrees in the elbow. A lot of this work is actually on the lowering of the weights, that nice eccentric state. We talked about lifting strength and lowering strength. You're developing lowering strength here, working those muscles to resist the pull and the deceleration here as we lower those weights. Great job. Those arms should be getting warm. Make sure as you're working here that your spine is staying tall. Sometimes when we get uncomfortable in the upper body, we start bringing those shoulders up into the ear, scrunching through the neck. We don't want that here today. So if you even need to come a little bit lower to make sure that that's not happening, perfectly fine. Awesome job here. Keep going. And we'll move on into our next bicep exercise. We're just gonna take those arms out to a T position, curl it in, lower, slow. You can speed this up if you would like. I just wanna make sure that you're able to focus on your form as you move here. I'm gonna stay at a moderate pace. So if you need a reference, you can look up and see what I've got going on and follow along. Shoulders out of the ears, core pulled up and in. Good, chin not pushing forward. We're not straining the neck, keep it tucked back. Also not pushing the stomach forward and creating this really big arch through the low back. Keep it pulled in there. Wonderful job. Let's go ahead, lower these arms here and Stick those elbows in to the sides. Bicep pulse here wide. So we're not taking the weights all the way down. We're not lifting them all the way up. Start parallel to the floor and pulse from there. Beautiful job. If you would like a little variation, you can turn those weights up and down, taking more of a hammer curl grip here. It's still the bicep muscle, it just works the bicep group a little bit differently here. I'm getting a little bit big in my movement. I can tell my arms are getting tired. Stay here and pulse if you can, right in the middle. 
Squeeze those weights lightly. Make sure that you don't, that you're not hanging on to those weights for dear life, creating stress through the hands and the knuckles as well. Good, you're also not swinging the arms up and down. You should feel all of those biceps working here. Step those feet wide. We're gonna take these arms, lift them up and over together, all the way up, down and back. Great job here. I am not bending my body forward and back. As I lift these weights, I want the core working hard to keep you upright and stable. So as we move these arms around the core, the core is working really hard to fight those pulling forces. Wonderful job here. Keep going, hang on. Awesome, stay nice and tight in the core. Uh, we jumped right on into shoulders. We have a little bit of upper back going as well. Watch out for those legs. If you feel like you're maybe cutting it a little too close to comfort, just lift and lower here from the front. You can skip bringing them up and over. Lots of modifications here today. Don't be scared to make this work out your own. Whew. Hold on here. Feel those shoulders nice and strong. Take a few more. Great. And our next move is a shoulder move as well. Like I said, <laughs> I clumped them together. Go ahead, bring those feet to the front if you would like. You can hold the weights here, or if you want a little extra work, you can scoot your hand back where you have a little more weight hanging off of the front. I don't want you straight out off of the shoulders, a little bit more down towards the floor, slow circles here. Great job. If it's too much with those weights hanging off, just pull them back, center them up in between the hands. Breathe, relax here. Shoulders don't scrunch up to the ears. Don't push the stomach forward. Don't look to the center of the body for help with this movement. All shoulders, shoulders have to do this work all on their own. If you need to just keep it lower, take some of the force of gravity out of there. <sighs> Wonderful job here. Keep engaging through those core and ab muscles. <sighs> nice and warm. You know it's getting good when you start tapping the toes and getting fidgety in the rest of the body. Wonderful job here. We're gonna take these weights. We're gonna bring them up right above the shoulders. Press them up and back. Great job, watch out. When you lower those weights, lower them slow and with control so that you don't come crashing into the body here. Make sure that you are not pushing the stomach forward. Keep it pulled in. You're also not pushing the chin really far forward. Great job here. Our triceps and our shoulders bounce back and forth a little bit just because I know those shoulders were working through some of our bicep exercises too. So we're gonna break it up a little bit for them. Hold on here, you're doing a wonderful job. As you extend these weights, squeeze the back of the arm, get a little extra work out of that muscle. It's not locking the elbow, it's just feeling that muscle work and giving it that last little extra squeeze there. Wonderful job. Bring those arms here to the front. Palms are gonna face each other, elbows are up, and hug it forward and back. I want you pulling back, not with the hands, but more with the elbows. Squeeze those back muscles together. Great opportunity here for back work. Don't push the stomach forward as you squeeze the shoulder blades onto the spine. Shoulders are working here. Little bit of a chest stretch, which is always nice. Little bit of chest work here on that forward as well. I know these ones add up 
nice and quick. If you need to, you just lower those weights, make sure they're secure, and take it here body weight only. You can come in and out of it depending on what is best for you. Either way, we are just about done. I know these ones are tough. Let's go ahead, lower it down. Squeeze those elbows into the sides. Press those weights back. Little bit of a bicep curl for you here. If you are staying upright, you do have the option to give the triceps more work by planting those feet into the floor, taking the body weight, the upper body straight forward, hold those abs in. If it's uncomfortable, you just come back up here, a little bit more towards the top, whatever is right for you. Shoulders are out of the ears. As I extend my hand out and I straighten my arm back here, it's a straight line from my shoulder down to my elbow, down to my wrist. So I'm not rolling my wrist back. I'm not keeping a bend in my arm. Straight out. Back in just right out of the work and back. So you don't need to come all the way in. You can really spend a lot of time <laughs> in that work zone. Great job here. After this exercise, you only have three more to go. So definitely home stretch here. Good, bring those arms up. Well, bring the body up, push those arms back. You can take the palms back or you can keep working with pinky finger back, whatever feels best in your body. This is a combination here of shoulders and triceps. Stomach is not pushing forward, chin is not extending forward either. You're doing wonderful. Hang in here. Two more, two more exercises. Our next exercise is also a combination of triceps and shoulders. It'll go nice and quick. It's a bigger movement, little less intense. And then we have our final exercise for back and shoulders. And we'll get you stretched out, cool down, and on your way. Here we go, hands right here to the rib cage. Extend the right arm forward, left arm back, pull it back. Core fights really hard to not turn with those arms. So you don't wanna be rotating back. You want the core staying nice and steady here, a good, way to check is if you see those knees shimmying forward and back and they're no longer level with each other chances are you're moving through the core and the hips getting rotation to follow that back arm you can always bring yourself back up press diagonal and towards the floor so if you don't like that leaning forward position you just work right here. I just want you to, as you extend that arm down, squeeze the back of that muscle. Don't miss the work. Core pulls up and in nice and tight no matter where you are. We have just a few more. This is our last set, last one here. Bending forward position, pulse. Those elbows up and back. Squeeze those shoulder blades onto the spine. If you do not like this bent forward position, go ahead, take some more hugs here and maybe focus on just the back half where you feel the back and the backs of the shoulders working. So either position, it's the same work. It's just about being more comfortable in the body. Shoulders out of the ears, neck nice and long. You are doing a wonderful job here. This is our last exercise. I've got some stretches for you and then, then you are all done. You are off for the adventures of the day. Let's take five more. Sounds like a lot, but it'll go quick. Three, two, and beautiful job here on this last one. Set those weights under your chair. Hands come down to the sides, right ear over to the right shoulder, back up to the center, two more times. Keep that left hand reaching down for the floor. Let's go, 
left ear to left shoulder. Beautiful work here today. Step that right leg out just a little bit. Reach this left arm over. You can support yourself on the right forearm. Flex the wrist and roll it up. Two more here. Don't go any bigger than what feels good. Take it forward. Other side, letting this body cool down. Move through the wrist. Stretching open the sides and those back muscles. Last one here. Beautiful job, take it down. Roll those shoulders into a nice, big, smooth circle. <sighs> Great job here today. Bring those hands up to the chest, right arm out three times. Just pushing that pinky out, left arm three times. Good, last one there. Take them both out. Push those pinkies back without pushing the stomach forward. Thumbs back. Two more times through each of those. Thumbs back. Pinkies back. Last time here, thumbs back. Drop those hands down. Lift the chest, stretch open through there. Wiggle those fingers and then Give it all a good shake. You are all done for today. I am so proud of you for making it to the end of this workout. You should be proud of yourself as well. Like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure that you are subscribed so that as I get these workouts uploaded for you guys, you will get that notification. You will never miss a workout. They will be there for you. It's always free. If you have already subscribed to the channel, it does give me a lot of support and I appreciate it so much. Until I see you guys for our next workout, please take good care of yourselves. And as always, thank you for watching.